Hey there, Aries, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. This is going to be a reading for the week of January 31st through February 5th, 2022. We're going to take a look at past, present, and near future energies, as well as any energies the universe wants you to keep in mind this week. Also, Aries, please remember, energies do go both ways, so I could be picking up on your energy or your person's energy, so take the energies as they resonate. Present, near future. Oh, all right. Well, that's an intense main energy. Sorry, the cards are just going everywhere. There we go. Okay, Aries. So the main energy for your reading this week is the tower. There's something which is unstable or has been unstable in your life that needs to be crumbling. It needs to come crumbling down. Um, the foundation on which this was built wasn't stable, and so that's why it's collapsing at this point, or it needs to collapse. We'll see if you're actually allowing it to collapse. In the recent past, you get the moon, four of wands, five of wands. There's a connection, a very strong bond showing up here for you, but I feel like there's some point of contention. There's something that you and this person can't see eye to eye on, you can't seem to agree on, but regardless, you or them or the both of you, kind of don't want to face it. It's almost like the energy that I'm getting is like, we're not going to talk about the elephant in the room, right? This is a big elephant. We're not talking about it because this is such a strong bond, because this is such a strong connection. If we talk about it, we know it may implode. We don't want to do that. In the current situation, you get the death, the page of swords, the four of cups. Somebody here in the current situation is slowly coming to the realization that whatever this is, is dying out. Something is dying out. And I feel like this person, despite the fact that they're unhappy about it, despite the fact that they're like, you know, they're they're not happy that this is coming to an end or that it's dying out, but they're kind of just letting it happen. They're like, all right, you know, I mean, kind of like it is what it is type of energy. In the near future, you get the strength, the five of cups and the seven of pentacles. I feel like somebody here is having a bit of a hard time dealing with the fact that things unfolded the way they did in the recent past. And this person is evaluating or assessing what they could possibly do about it. Is there anything to do? Is there anything to still work with here in the near future? Now, this could be you, this could be your person. Again, I'm going to say you throughout this reading because this is your reading, but take the energies as they resonate. If it doesn't resonate with you, it could be that I'm picking up on your person's energy. Let's start clarifying the tower in your main energy. Ooh, you playing me? Okay, that's not what I thought. The tower is clarified by the Six of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Sun. This is an immensely beautiful tower. Usually towers are about things that are not stable, that are meant to come crumbling down. For me, I feel like this is actually the exact opposite. Something is coming out of nowhere and it's so surprising and shocking to you because I don't feel like you expect it. Um, you're definitely dealing with a soul connection. This is possibly somebody that you have a lot of history with. There's a lot of love here and love goes both ways. Like you love them, they love you. This connection brings in a lot of happiness or something that's taking place in the current situation, which you don't expect, by the way. You probably don't see this coming. Is bringing in a lot of very positive, very happy energy. Okay, wow. Way to throw a curveball, Aries. Let's clarify your recent past. I'm going to start off by clarifying the moon for you in the recent past. No? No? Okay. If they fall on the table, I take them. If they don't fall or they don't flip over, I don't take them. The moon is clarified by the nine of wands, the temperance, and the chariot. Things are happening very, very quickly for you Quickly for you here in the recent past. I feel like your guard has definitely been up when it comes to this person, when it comes to this connection. You don't fully trust them. It's almost like you feel like you can interact with them, you can talk to them, you can hang out with them, but you need to put a boundary there. Like It's almost like you can't be 100% yourself here. And I feel like this has been a long time like coming. This has been happening for quite some time. I feel like you and this person, again, for some reason, I'm getting an energy of there's an elf, elephant in the room. I'm not going to talk about it. You don't talk about it. I'm not going to be fully myself when I interact with you, but we're going to pretend like everything is fine. With the chariot, though, I see things happening very quickly and moving here for you very, very quickly. It's like whatever hidden secrets, whatever, you know, you not being yourself or you having your guard up, all that I feel like is going to really, really change in the near future. But we'll see when we clarify, because we're just looking at your recent past. Let's take a look at this Four of Wands for you in the recent past. Oh, ooh, 
Four of Wands is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Somebody here in the recent past really, really, really wants to make things work out. They want to bring back balance and fairness into the situation. It's almost like the energies between you and this person weren't balanced. What I mean by that is you may have been giving more than the other person or they may have been giving more to you. And it's not just like monetary. It could be emotionally. It could be energetically, right? The power dynamic between the two of you was not balanced. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I feel like in the recent past, somebody really, really, really wants to put in the work here. Like you get the seven of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. Those are both cards of like, let's make this work. Let's put in the work to balance out the energies, to make it feel like we're both giving and receiving equal, equal amounts. Very beautiful. Let's take a look at the five of wands though in the recent past for you. Five of Wands is clarified by, that's so interesting, and you get the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck again. Five of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Cups, the Tower, and the World. I feel like somebody here really does want to start new. They want to start fresh. They want to start over from a very, very loving place, but they're very conflicted about it because they're afraid that if they actually open up, if they take that step to start over, to start fresh, to have that new beginning in love, it's all going to go to shit anyway. And again, don't forget that the tower is the main energy for your reading this week. And so if this is you, Aries, I feel like this is just a fear that you have. I don't necessarily feel like that's actually what's going to happen. This is more so a conflict between you and yourself where you're like, I want this, but do I actually want this? Is this going to end up, you know, going to shambles or not? Either way, though, that whole cycle of should I, shouldn't I is coming to an end here in the recent past. You have been in this cycle, like I said, for quite some time between you and this person. Your guard may have been up. I feel like that's all coming to an end for you in the recent past. That confusion, that back and forth, that I want this, but I'm not going to pursue it because I'm afraid it's going to go to shit. All coming to an end. Let's take a look at your current situation. I want to start off by clarifying the death for you in the current situation. The death is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Swords. I feel like somebody, like I said, is slowly letting something die out here. It's almost like this person is frustrated. They're giving up. They're just kind of like, you know what? If it's meant to just not happen, it's meant to not happen. And again, I don't know if this is you or this is your person, because in the recent past, I'm getting a let's make this work type of energy. In the current situation, whoever this is, they're kind of like, this is too hard. Like this person is very, very frustrated and they're just kind of like, you know what? If this isn't working, if this is meant to die out, like I can't keep fighting this type of energy. And it, it's a slow like death process. Like whatever this is, it's not just coming to an end overnight. It's kind of like, you know, this person's like seeing a flower wilt and they're like, okay, I mean, it's inevitable. This is, I can't keep this thing alive. So might as well just let it die out. Let's take a look at the page of swords in the current situation. interesting because you got the four of wands in the same row in the recent past tied up to somebody really wanting to make it work the page of swords is clarified by the page of pentacles the four of wands and the queen of pentacles you got a lot of freaking pentacles in your reading aries you're a fire sign so that's not very typical for you so some of you may be dealing with an earth sign or somebody that has a lot of earth in their chart either way I feel like somebody in the current situation is not giving up on this they're not doing much to keep it alive they're not giving up on it though. This person is kind of like, you know what? I really, really, really feel the intensity of this connection. I want this bond in my life. And I know that all this really needs is some TLC, some tender love and care to nurture this connection back to life. I'm not ready to let it go. I'm not ready to let it die out. Now, this person, again, they're not doing much. They're showing up with pages, page energy. Page is kind of like the energy of doing this much when you wanna do this much, okay? They're not doing a lot, but they're also not letting this go. It's like, I feel like somebody in the current situation is like, you know what, whatever, this isn't working out, we need to let it go. And the other person's like, nah, fam, I'm not with you on that. I mean, I'm not gonna do a lot to keep it alive, but I'm also not letting it die out. Very interesting. You and this person are like, totally, it's almost like you guys are like in a connection energetically, but you guys are on complete opposite sides of the spectrum. Let's take a look at the Four of Cups in the current situation for you.
Four of Cups is clarified by the hangman, the Five of Cups, which you get again in the near future, and the justice. Yeah, somebody here, and I feel like this is honestly the both of you. The both of you. You're not happy with the way things are, but you ain't doing anything. With the hangman here, you're letting me know, like, yeah, I don't like how things are. I don't like how things unfolded between us. I really do want to balance out. I want to bring back fairness into this connection. I want to make sure that we're both giving and receiving equal amounts. But I'm not going to do anything about it. You know, it, and I'm also not getting the energy of like, I want the other person to do anything about it. It's more so just like, we're going to keep things as they are for now. I don't know why you're not showing me why you're just showing me like, this is what I feel, but I'm not doing anything about it. So I, I don't know what to tell you. Let's take a look at your near future. I'm going to start off by clarifying the strength card for you. Well, that didn't last long. The strength card is clarified by the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. Remember how I said in the current situation, you're not doing anything? You're just like, I'm not, I, I don't like how things are, but I'm not going to do anything. In the near future, that changes. It almost becomes too difficult for you or the other person to stay in that energy of not doing anything. It's almost, the energy that I'm getting, it's kind of like it's unbearable for you. You're on pins and needles because you feel so drawn to this person, so drawn to this connection that you have to do something. It's almost like you feel compelled to like reach out to this person or communicate with them or open up to them because you are very attracted to them. You're very magnetically drawn to them to the point where you can't resist doing something. You're like... Again, the energy that I'm getting is like, okay, fine, I need, to, I need to talk to them. I need to open up. I need, like, I need to do this. Let's take a look at the Five of Cups for you in the near future. Five of Cups, nice, is clarified by the Fool, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Judgment. Somebody here in the near future is making a decision to right the wrongs that happened in the past. They're almost wiping the slate clean where this person's like, you know what? Enough. We're not bringing this past energy into the beautiful future that I can see us having together. I want to wipe the slate clean. And yes, I know it may not be easy, but we both have to trust each other. We both have to take that leap of faith and just leave the past in the past so that we can move forward towards the future with beautiful, stable energy. Very nice. Very nice. It's almost like this person is just making the decision where it's like, okay, we're not, we're not bringing the past into the future. Cool. Let's take a look at the seven of pentacles for you in the near future. Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Cups, the strength, which you got in the, in the near future, same energy, um, for feeling compelled to do something. Like, I have to do something. I have to do something. So Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Cups, the strength, and the Knight of Wands. Again, I feel like somebody here is really, really feeling compelled to take action, to make something happen. They're very, very magnetically drawn to you, or you are to them. There's a lot of fire showing up here, so I'm more inclined to say that this is you. Because up until this point, I've seen a lot of pentacles. So if you're dealing with an earth sign, that's more than likely their energy um, kind of like seeping into your reading. But I feel like in the near future, you're open to this. You're open to this. You feel that connection. You feel the same energy that your person is feeling. You want to do something. You want to reach out. You want to open up. And I see you doing so, but you're showing up with very minimal energy. It's almost like you're opening up just a little, just enough so this person knows like, okay, this isn't done between us. But you're not like, you know, showing the energy that that you're showing up with is not the energy that you have behind the scenes type of thing. And again, with the tower is the main energy for your reading this week. I feel like it's your person that is just not willing to let go of this. And you're kind of like happy about that, if that makes sense. I'm, I'm just, hey, I'm saying what I'm seeing. Could be you, could be vice versa. Or this could just not be your reading if it doesn't resonate with you. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind this week, Aries. <laughs> you have so many pages in your reading. From the universe, you get the High Priestess, the Page of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. You know things are going to start moving. You, again, I do feel like some of you are dealing with an Earth sign. You're the Fire sign to me. This other person is the Earth sign. Um... So you may be dealing with somebody that is an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or somebody that just has a lot of earth in their chart. Either way, intuitively, on a deep level, you know things are going to get moving between you and this person. I just feel like in the current situation, you're showing me it's not the right time, it's not the right time, but then in the near future, it becomes the right time. So let's close off your reading with an oracle card from the universe, Aries. 
a time for healing. All right. Maybe that's why this, in the current situation, it's not the right time for things to start unfolding. Because you or the person or the both of you are still going through some healing and you don't want to jump the gun and take action before you feel ready to do so. So that could be why you're not taking any action in the current situation, but you do definitely do something in the near future. So Aries, that's what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it resonated, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks again for tuning in and I will see you here for your reading next week. Bye, Aries.